Ford and Mazda seem to be going their separate ways. Even though the two companies still share some resources, they're definitely doing things differently. Seamus McElroy filed this report on the differences between the Ford Fiesta and the Mazda 2. We're here in Montreal with the new Mazda 2, which just so happens to be coming out around the same time as the Ford Fiesta. And even though the two companies co-developed the architecture together, as you'll find out, they don't have a whole lot in common. For starters, both have completely different powertrains. The Mazda 2 is powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder that cranks out just 100 horsepower, compared to the Fiesta, which has a 1.6 liter four cylinder with 120 horsepower. Both are available with five speed manuals, but the Mazda 2 has the option for a five speed automatic, while the Fiesta is available with a six speed dual clutch transmission. Because of these powertrain differences, the Mazda gets worse fuel economy than the Fiesta. As I mentioned before, the Mazda 2 and the Fiesta share the same architecture, but Mazda says the vehicles only share four parts. Very little is really shared between the cars, so there are only four parts uh, that are actually in, our, in common between the cars, like the wheel bearings and uh, a link in the, in the front suspension and the upper strut mount, that's it. Uh, everything else is unique to, to, to each car. Uh, so you end up, you have a very different character for each car, uh, it end up being really distinct. Since this is a car that will be sold around the globe, Mazda's designers in Japan and Europe collaborated on the look with the goal of creating a sporty looking hatch. The car has very, a very dynamic wedge line, keeps the side window graphic very sporty, very uh, forward oriented. Um, the car is all about agility and dynamic. So the car's got a real forward stance, prominent front fender, and that gives the car a lot of movement even when it's parked and standing still, so that's very important. Uh, very expressive Mazda front face, fits really well with our overall uh, lineup. And uh, short front and rear overhangs, really key. Get those wheels at the corner and really make it look stable and capable at the end of the day. The company is aiming for sales of 20,000 in the U.S. and the same amount in Canada as well with about 20% of those being equipped with manual transmissions. Two trims are available and Mazda expects that each will evenly split sales. In a growing and very competitive B segment, it will be real interesting to see if the Mazda 2 can stand out. In Quebec, Canada, I'm Seamus McElroy for Autoline Daily. Thanks for that report, Seamus. The Mazda 2 is on sale right now with a starting price of just over $14,700.